Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the tub seal kit on your washer and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a 5 16 nut driver, putty knife, we'll also need a half inch socket with an extension and a ratchet, we'll need a large hammer, and a spanner wrench. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first thing we need to do before we begin the repair is to unplug the washer. And you may also wish to disconnect the inlet water supply and the drain hose and pull the washer far enough forward that we can access everything in it. Now our first step will be to raise the main top. So we'll take our putty knife and we're going to come in about three inches from either side. Locate the little spring clip. Just depress it with the putty knife. Lift up on the top. Then we're going to lift that whole top while opening the lid make sure we have something to secure that with or lean it up against. And next we're going to remove two 5 16 screws on the top of the front panel. So we'll just tilt that front panel forward, lift it off of the base, and we'll set it aside. Now our next step will be to remove the tub cover. And this held in place with these tabs that attach to the outer tub. So to remove it, we're simply going to push down on that tub cover while lifting out on the tabs. We'll do that all the way around the tub. Once they're all released, we can lift that tub cover out and set it aside. Now next we need to remove the agitator and we'll begin by taking the fabric softener dispenser off the top and just twist that sideways and lift it off. And then using our half inch socket, extension and ratchet, we'll locate the mounting bolt inside the center of that opening on the top of the agitator. And then we're going to grasp the base of that agitator and pull up sharply on it. And lift it off and we'll set the agitator aside. Now with the agitator removed, you may note at the base of your tub that there is a seal nut attached there. And if so, you'll need to remove that. On newer versions of this washer, all you will see is the four mounting bolts for the inner basket. Once we've accessed those, we'll remove the four bolts. Now with the bolts removed, we'll grasp the top of the tub just rock it back and forth and then lift it out of the outer tub. Now next we're going to remove this center hub we're using our spanner wrench. We'll locate three of those pins in the three of the bolt holes and just hold it in place. Just unthread the hub. And lift it off. Our next step will be to remove the six suspension springs. And if you're fortunate enough to have the spring removal tool, we'll use that. If not, just take a pair of locking pliers. Grip one end of the spring, lift up on it just enough 
to clear the hook at the top and then release it. Try not to overstretch the springs. And you can pull them out of the base frame just to get them out of the way. You can continue to do that for all six springs. suspension springs removed we're next going to loosen that clamp on the tub to pump hose so just strip that clamp squeeze it together and then slide it down the hose and pull the hose off the tub and next we'll remove the bolts that secure the outer tub to the tub support cover once we've removed the suspension springs, we're next going to remove the six bolts that secure the outer tub to the tub cover support. They're held in place with a 3-8 head bolt, and we'll also need to use our short extension for that. Once we've got the three front ones removed, we'll next go back to the back side left corner of the tub. And we're going to remove the air dome tube that is attached to the outer tub. Just loosen the clamp, pull the hose off, and then we can rotate that whole tub and remove the remaining bolts. Then turn the tub back so that the proper side is facing forward. And then next we'll remove the four bolts on the inside that secure the motor tub to the tub seal hub. And next we'll need to remove these four R16 bolts that hold the center portion of that motor tub to the bearing assembly. We may turn with a nut driver, but if not, we'll use a Ratchet in the socket. You can discard these bolts as there are new ones with the kit. Now we can go ahead and remove the suspension springs from the bottom. Now that we've got the four inner bolts removed from the outer tub, just break that tub free and lift it out. Now 
Our next step will be to remove the tub support cover so that we can access the bearing and seal assembly. So using our half inch socket and ratchet, we're going to loosen all these bolts. And before we do so, take note of the very top of this uh, tub support cover. There, there is a spot between two bolts in this left front corner that has a little indentation in it. We need to make sure that we, when we put this back together, that we have that lined up in that spot. We've removed all six of those bolts from the tub support cover. We can lift that off of the transmission. We'll just remove that completely from the washer and we can disconnect these spring hangers. Just take note of how they attach. They come in from the inside. We can flip this cover over. Now with the cover upside down, we can then access the three bolts that secure that bearing and seal assembly. And using our extension, we'll remove those three bolts. Set that aside, and then we can put our new bearing and seal assembly on. So we'll discard the old bearing. And we'll take our new one, line up that little locating pin. and then center it in that support cover. We'll use the three new bolts that were supplied with the kit. And we'll tighten those securely. We're now ready to put that tub support cover back on. We'll locate that indentation, make sure we place it in the right spot. We'll carefully sit that down over the transmission. And then we can install the bolts into the support legs. So we'll start by lining up one of the bolts. You may need to put a little pressure on the top of that tub support to aid in alignment. And 
and tighten those securely. And just continue to do that to the remaining two legs. Now, once we have all of our springs in place, we can now put our outer tub on. So before we put the outer tub in, we're going to remove the old gasket off the bottom to make sure that surface is clean. We'll discard the gasket. And we'll set the new gasket that came with our kit on top of the tub seal and then we're going to lower that tub into position we want to make sure that we line up those four bolt holes through the top now we'll install the new tub bolts that came with the kit And then we'll tighten them with the socket and ratchet. And then remember to reconnect the air dome tube to the air dome in the back left corner and position the clamp over the end of the hose. Now next we can install the bolts through the base of the outer tub into the tub support cover. So using our ratchet with the short extension and a 3 8 socket, we're going to install all those bolts. And just continue to do that until we have all six bolts in place. Well, next we're ready to put the inner basket in. So we'll line up the holes in the bottom of the inner tub with the holes on the hub. And we'll reinstall the bolts. And once they're all in, we can go ahead and tighten them up. Well, next, we'll put the tub cover on. Now, when installing the tub cover, we're going to put this large portion at the front where the bleach dispenser is in the left front corner. So our first step will be to make sure that all of the tabs on that tub cover are outside of the outer tub. And then we'll begin by latching this one on the front first. Just squeeze down on that tub cover until the tab locks onto the outer tub. And check and make sure that they're all in position. And now we can put the agitator in. Now when installing the agitator, if you've dropped the bolt out of yours, you'll want to set that on top of your socket 
and lower the agitator over top of it to line it up with the hole. We need to make sure that that's in the opening in the bottom of that agitator barrel first. Then we'll lower it into the tub, turn it so that the splines line up, press it firmly down into place, and then we'll tighten it up. And you use your ratchet to tighten it firmly. You may need to hold the base of that agitator to keep it from turning. Next, we'll put the fabric softener dispenser on top. So line that up and snap it on. And then we can go ahead and put the front panel on. Now we'll need to line up the two slotted openings in the bottom of that front panel with the two clips that are attached to the base of the machine. Make sure they sit firmly into place. And then as we tilt that panel forward, we want to line up these two locator pins with the openings in the panel. And then just hold it in position and then we'll put the two 5 16 screws down through the top. Now we can lower the main top down and we'll want to line up again our two locator pins that will line up with these two holes in the main top. See so if you've lined those up, just snap that top down. And now we can reconnect the inlet water supply and our power. And our repair is complete.